BJU has released a new pre-algebra program. This is their third edition, and I am going to walk through the print pieces for this pre-algebra program. They do have information online that is available as well, so I highly encourage you to check that out. But for the sake of time in this video, we will not be looking at the online components. We will only be looking at the printed pieces. So I have the textbook and then I have the teacher's manual one and teacher's manual part two. You have the activities book. Then you have the answer key for the activities. Then you also have the assessments and the answer key for the assessments. So let's start off by looking at the teacher's guide because this is truly very much an all-inclusive teacher's guide. It has so much information in here that I just think is awesome. So first of all, let's look at the scope and sequence for this course. So you have operations with integers, expressions, equations and inequalities, rational expression, operations with rational numbers and percents. Then we will go into chapter seven. Chapter seven um, is in the black and white here because that is where this part two of the teacher's guide comes into play, but they are set up the same way. So then um, applying equations and inequalities, relations and functions, systems of linear equations, geometry, perimeter area and volume, and then statistics and probability. So let's look at some of the great features of this book. First of all, it starts out talking about BJU's philosophy. And so you'll see this in your biblical worldview shaping in. You have these cartoons. So this is so cute because these cartoons are throughout the book and they are a lot of fun. Also, something that you're going to see throughout the book are these QR codes because this provides you with additional information that you may need. Next, we have information for the teacher. So this is all for the teacher. You have additional information for the teacher. This talks about the teacher tools online. So again, what I was talking about, they do have quite a bit of online information. The homeschool hub, after school help, which we can see this when we start talking about the lesson plans. This is a lot of information there and then additional information for how to access technology. Okay, so this is your teaching cycle. So this is their philosophy for teaching to the teacher. So it gives you more information. This says, if you're familiar with BJU, this will tell you what's new in this pre-algebra one. Um, this MP right here, this goes along with some of the problems. So it, I had to go back and look up what this meant when we were at the problems. Next, we just have more information for the teacher. This will show you your suggested schedule. So you can see chapter one, 14 class periods, et cetera, down to quarterly reviews and exams for a total of 180 days. So let's get into how to use the teacher edition. So first is the lesson plan overview. Okay, so here's our lesson plan overview. For lesson one, you can see that this is on pages one through six of the teacher's manual, and it tells you the objectives, the materials that you need. Here's your digital resources that they have available, and then any type of assessments that they have. So for each lesson, it lays out the information that you will need for that lesson. And then you can get into the information for actually teaching the lesson. So this is, chapter um, one, page one. And one of the things that I do really like about this book is that your page numbers are the same page numbers. So you can see this is what the student manual looks like and this is what the teacher's manual look, looks like. But on page one for the student's manual, I am at page one in the teacher's manual. And that has just helped a lot in being able to um, turn to the same page and things like that. So that is helpful. Again, we have these great colorful cartoons. Depending on how much or how little your student needs or you need, 
this will have it. And that is one of the things that I really liked about this when I was first looking at it. So you have the copy of the student page, but then there's information for you, the teacher. What are your objectives? If you wanna talk about the biblical worldview, you can talk about it here. Digital resources, and then you have instruction information. So if you need um, any kind of assistance in teaching this, they provide that information right here. Also, as you're looking through, you can see common student errors. And this is very helpful to, be, to know what to look for. Also, you have the answers to the individual problems on the page. And then when you apply, it gives you three sets of assignments. So you have your minimum assignment. So this is for your student, if they're grasping the concepts really well, and when you were doing these examples, there weren't any issues, then you can utilize the minimum assignment. You have the standard assignment, and then you have the extended assignment, just based on how your child is doing, then they have already broken down what you need to assign. So you don't have to just look through and say, do um, all of the odd nut ones or all of the even ones, or you need to do them all. They really have it broken down very well to make sure that each of the concepts that are needed to be covered will be covered adequately. Also, um, they do have the answers on the page. And then here's what I was talking about earlier. So if it has this yellow highlight, you can see, go back here, and this is use abstract reasoning for MP2. Since this says MP2, this is using abstract reasoning. And that is very helpful. So as we go through the chapter, you can see here's um, a QR code for after school help. If you need additional um, problems or additional practice, you have that. And then at the end of each lesson, you have your exercises relating to that lesson, but then you have your cumulative review. So you can see that this is definitely a spiral approach to pre-algebra. Well, at the end of each lesson, you will have this cumulative review that will pick a problem or two from previous concepts that you have completed. Um, then also as we move forward, you can see there's vocabulary listed on the page if, if you need to focus on any vocabulary related to these um, concepts. And I like that they also provide what is considered essential questions. Make sure that your students are able to explain these essential questions. Now at the end of this chapter, they do have computing then and now. So they are bringing calculators and computing into this curriculum. And that is just something that I think is really important right now in today, you know, in this day and age. And even when we go into chapter two, they did this in chapter one as well. There is a calculator skills activity. And so these activities will be found in this activity book. So this activity book is very helpful. One thing that they do have is additional problems. If you find that your student needs these additional problems, it is available. They also have just fun activities. So for example, here is a clock activity when we were working on different bases. They do have calculator activities in here that we have been working on. Here's the calculator skills. It really teaches you how to utilize a calculator. They are getting students prepared for using like scientific calculators to be able to find the solutions to problems because with calculators, you can't always just punch in exactly the way the problem is. You have to truly understand the order of operations and the concepts before you can get the correct answer sometimes. Then you have the review. If you need the review, um, your cumulative review, and this will prepare you for your test. They also, within this activity book, normally have some type of biblical activity as related to math. You can see there's more calculator skills, additional work if you need it, and then you work on mental arithmetic, and here is your chapter review, and then you have your cumulative review. Then we have projects. And so my kinesthetic learner loves having these hands-on projects in math. So for STEM project one, we will be doing um, potato power. So they give you the materials list. 
then they give you uh, information on your design parameters, planning the design and testing the design, redefining the design and then retesting the design. Here are the calculations that you need to do and then your grading rubric. This is the activities book that I am showing right now. With the activities book, we also have the activities answer key. And so for example, for this potato design, you can see that the answers, the pages look the same, and then the answers are in this pink color for each of the activities. And then you can see teacher notes if you need any additional information. Also in this activity um, teacher answer key, it will tell you when you should use these activities. So for example, this is enrichment use after lesson 1.3. And if you look in your teacher's manual, it just tells you that as well. So here's lesson 1.3, and then the activity for clock arithmetic will be is listed right after acti um, lesson 1.3. It tells you that you need the clock arithmetic within the activity book, and so that is also listed in this lesson plan overview. One other thing to note in this lesson plan overview is it will tell you when you have your assessments. So for example, um, lesson 1.3, you're supposed to do quiz 1A. Quiz 1A is located in your assessments and then the answer for quiz 1A is in your assessments answer keys. Now they also show you in your lesson plan overview when you need to do your chapter review, cumulative review, and then your chapter test. So let's look at this answer key for just a minute because um, on the answer key, it will tell you what part of the book each of these questions are, is referring to. So for example, for your chapter two test, this is the answer key, but it will tell you that this is 2.1.2, 2.3.2, 2.1.2, 2 and 2.3.2. So I can go in my book and look at 2.1, example two and this will um this will go directly back to this quiz in case there were any issues or 2.3.2 so i can look at lesson 2.3 example two and if, the, if we need to, we can get more information and more practice in this after school help. So there's so much information that is included in this curriculum and it is laid out so that it is very easy to follow. Um, you can see in the student book, there's, it's bright, colorful. There are quite a few um, words on a page. One of the things that we did have to reinforce is not using, not doing all the problems because sometimes obviously you can look at this page and see there are so many problems, but the way that they have it set up, um, you, you're not going to really ever do all of the problems. And so that is a nice thing for your student to understand that it's not all of the problems that will be expected. So again, the books for your student are really the textbook. So you have one textbook for your student, one activity book for your student. Then with this, you for the teacher, you have these two full teacher's manuals. They are pretty thick two full teacher's manuals that are utilized for this one student book. And then you have your activity answer key that is utilized for your activities. And again, please make sure that you do check out their online resources because there are quite a few resources that are available to really help you as the teacher in teaching or administering this pre-algebra curriculum.